Welcome to Prevent Your Adventure, and where I ended up today is not where I started out for, but looking at this stuff, I don't think that's going to be a negative. So, this place that I'm at, and oh, let me just tell you, and you can't, it, there's no parking, so we're not going to be able to see anything from anywhere. But I'm in Clinton, Connecticut, and it's called uh, Grand Abitz Shoreline. Grand, Ab spelled a pizza, spelled pronounced a beat grand a beats shoreline and uh clinton connecticut we're down towards the new haven style I, this well let me just show you what i got i got some meatballs and i got a beautiful looking pepperoni pizza so uh this is all pretty good looking stuff. Smells good in here. Let me set up the camera and we'll dig right in. Okay, so I started out um, heading somewhere that is not here. We're not going to get into that. But I had to go into my lists when I got to this area. And I went into my recommendations and I had this place as a recommendation, but I didn't have a name with it. So I don't know. I think, I think if you were with me last summer, a year ago, and I went to a birthday party, Mary's party, and I think somebody there gave me this place, but I didn't put a name with it, and I think that's where it came from, so it's been sitting there for about a year. So anyhow, let's try. <laughs> I think every time I eat a meatball now, I'm going to think of those guys in Florida that just get excited every time they see meatballs on, on here. Guarantee you these meatballs are house made. They're huge. They're tender. They're juicy. Very tasty. Very nicely done. Nice sauce with them. You can see I like them because I just keep eating them. All right. Oh, okay. They're small pieces. I thought they were big pieces. They just stuck together. All right. New Haven style is a thin crust. With a, a nicely done crust and uh, stuff is dripping off there because it's falling off nice crust a little crisp on the bottom chewy in the center nice sauce Beautiful sauce to cheese ratio. I don't know what else they do here, but they weren't highly rated in Google Maps, and I don't understand why. I didn't look at a lot of the reviews. I, I usually do. And sometimes a lot of the, the low number rent poor stuff comes from delivery, so I kind of discount that. Nicely done. Okay. I'm going to enjoy this. Let me eat, come back, we'll talk about it. All right, Grand Beats Shoreline. I don't know if they, oh yeah, they have, I'm looking at the box. They have three different locations, that's why. <clears throat> but they're all on a shoreline, Clinton, Madison, Guilford. Anyhow, I'm in the Clinton one. Um, cash only, didn't know that walking in, didn't have enough, so I had to 
use an ATM. Paid a little fee for that. I think my credit union reimburses me for that, but I don't know. So a reminder to always travel with some cash in your pocket because you never know. So, meatballs. I didn't ask any questions in there. They were kind of busy Thursday night, but those meatballs in my they, they got to be house made. They were they were big, they were thick, juicy, tender. Very nicely done. Great flavor. Great marinara. Those meatballs those meatballs were very good. Very good. The pizza. Um, it's a New Haven style. I got the impression it's like a, a, a brick oven, just from the crust and all that, but I didn't ask. And uh, nice crust, a little crisp on the bottom, a little bit of chewy. It's a thin crust, there's not a lot of chewy. Nice, nice, nice sauce. Good cheese to sauce ratio, good pepperoni. Just a, a, a good food experience, really was a good food experience. I have no problem that I ended up in this place. Um, I don't know if I've ever been to a, a Beats place that, that didn't do a really good job. But I, I'm not sure, but I don't think I have been. Really, really nicely done. Uh, nice people. Right on Route 1 in Clinton, Connecticut. Let's give it a score. Good, good pizza. Good, good meatballs. I gotta go 9.3. Um, I don't know if I can find out from my son before I put this up. I'll, I'll try to put a name on the bottom. I don't remember who recommended it. I don't know if he'll remember. It was a year ago. But uh, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for giving it to me. I really enjoyed it. Good stuff. Good Good results. Really, really good results. All right, so let's, uh, I'm sitting here thinking, I don't come to this area very often at all. Right behind me, I don't know, not too far, are some premium outlets, the Clinton Premium Outlets. The Long Island Sound with the beaches is right over here. So I'm thinking back. To when I was in elementary school and uh, my best friend Kevin Sullivan I think he moved into two houses up from me the second house up from me when he was in kindergarten and we became really good friends and remained very good friends all through elementary school up through grade 6 uh, Kind of drifted apart after that, and then in high school he went off to a private school up in Massachusetts, so I really never saw much of him after that. But his grandparents lived, now this is Clinton, and he had a cousin that lived in Clinton, but they lived in Guilford, which is, I want to say two towns down, but once again, I don't come this way very often. So I don't remember much, but one summer we... I was invited to stay over at his grandparents' house for like three or four nights. Never done anything like that in my life. I, I, I'm guessing I was six or seven. I don't know. Uh, they put together a couple beds, I think, in the basement. This was 150 years ago, so I'm not 100% sure. But I remember that his grandfather had a Boston Whaler, which is a type of boat uh, with a... You know, a, a windscreen and a steering wheel up here and a motor behind. And we went out one day on the Boston Whaler into Long Island Sound. And as a young, young kid, I had the opportunity to drive the Boston Whaler. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't even remember the grandparent's name. If his cousin was on his mother, was the father, was, was his mother's brother, their last name was Waldo, but I, just, I think they had an architectural firm. But once again, 150 years ago, surprised I remember anything. But anyhow, not much of a throwback, but did bring back a, a nice fond memory of Kevin. Um, 
was an only child. He was well taken care of. I remember that one year, don't know whose idea it was, but all of a sudden a tree house showed up in his backyard and it wasn't like a kid built tree house. They had a professional carpenter come and build a little beautiful house that you had to use a rope ladder to get up into and uh, had a roof and w doors or, or windows and walls I mean you name it and I remember sleeping out in sleeping bags a few times out there so this uh for some reason coming down here just brought back memories of probably my first best friend Kevin Sullivan slash Lehrer. I think he's in California now. He had something to do with TV shows. He was a producer on Night Court 100 years, 100 years ago, whenever that was in the 80s. Uh, I used to talk to, I used to run into his mother every once in a while, like in a grocery store and talk to her. But uh, I haven't seen her. I don't even know if she's still alive. I haven't seen her in a long time, so I don't know what's going on with Kevin. So anyhow, that's the story. Grand Beats, Shoreline, Clinton, Connecticut. I think I said 9.3.